Hello everyone, welcome back to Myra's short video series. In this video we will talk about temperature gradient. So as we know that during the day and night temperature of the weather changes a lot like there is a huge variation uh, along the maximum and the minimum temperature of a day and that results in different stresses along the depth of our girders. So to capture that effect it is important that we provide the temperature gradient profile along the depth of our girders and so for doing that we are having this beam section temperature present under the temperature pre-stress. So we go under the load temperature pre-stress and here you can find this option. So the very first step is to define the load cases. So you can see I am having this temperature gradient positive and negative load cases defined. We just give the name over here and from here you can select the type that is temperature gradient. We do that and click on OK. So in this manner I have defined the two load cases and now I will go under the beam section temperature we select the temperature gradient positive and here after selecting PSC composite since it is a steel composite bridge hence I have selected this option I check on the apply by code provision and we use this three dot option so we have recently incorporated these codal provisions earlier we used to define the temperature gradient profile manually but now you can see we are having this profile already built up in the software so you just need to select the astral RFD and since this is a steel composite bridge we will select the section type as steel composite and I'm providing it for positive gradient so I have selected that click on OK then we select all the steel girders so using this I can simply select the steel girders and hit on apply so the profile has been defined for all the girders in the same manner we'll do it for the negative profile as well we give the load case and this three dots I will select the temperature gradient profile as negative this is our negative profile we click on OK and I can just simply select the previous like this and I can click apply so it has been defined for the negative as well we can see under the load cases and when we right click and see the tables so you can see under the PSC composite you will get this tables where the T1, T2 and everything has been defined like this along the depth so in this manner like H1 and H2 are the height along the depth like how the on different levels the temperature are varying using these values so I hope this video was helpful for you see you in the next